Now, all of those sacrifices in the book of Leviticus pointed forward to who? Who? Yeah, to Jesus, right? Like, they point us forward to Jesus. And once Jesus came, those sacrifices were no longer needed. And the the reality had arrived. Jesus was here. There were signs leading to the destination, and the destination was Jesus. So once Jesus came to earth, offered himself as the once-for-all sacrifice for sins, we didn't need what the pastor here calls the tent there in Jerusalem where sacrifices were being offered. They were now completely worthless. We've gone to Disneyland a few times as a family, always because grandma, you know, wants to pay for it. And many of you have been to Disneyland or some other amusement park like Disneyland. Imagine that you're going and you're having a great time with your family or with your kids. You know, you've just got off of Space Mountain. It was awesome. You did the Pirates of the Caribbean. It was great. You got on It's a Small World, and everybody's having a wonderful time. And you're there, and, you know, in the middle of the day, in the middle of all the fun... You look at your kids and you say, you know, this is nice and all, but boy, do you see that sign when we got off the freeway? The one that said, Disneyland this way? That's a great sign, wasn't it? That was super helpful, that sign. You gather the gang together and you say, hey, I know we paid $7,000 to be here and everything, but (laughs) let's leave the park and let's go back to the sign, the sign that said Disneyland this way, right there in the middle of all the fun, like kids, that would be, that wouldn't be a lot of fun, right, like that would be crazy, you look at your parents and you say, well, we just got here, we've just done a few rides, like I don't want to go back, why would we leave the park now to go back to the sign? It's that craziness, I mean, that's precisely what this church was doing, they're there, They've arrived at the reality, Jesus and his once-for-all sacrifice, and yet they're being tempted to go back to the sign, and this pastor says, no way. That's not going to strengthen your heart, spiritually speaking. It isn't those food sacrifices. It's God's grace. Don't leave Disneyland for the sign Now, brothers and sisters, let me just say there's a tendency in religion to put our hope in things, in rituals that accomplish or that we accomplish, thinking that they're going to add grace to our lives instead of actually putting our faith, our hope, our trust in Jesus, in Christ. 